everyone, this is Quick Q. Got a science or tech question? Your camp guides have answers. My name is Heather Chandler, and I'm a video games producer. I'm gonna be your guide today. What made you get into the gaming industry? I've always wanted to do something where people would be entertained by what I did, and games was the perfect way to do this. I submitted resumes to all of the game companies in the area, and Activision was the one that replied back, and they hired me. I found some great mentors who were always willing to support me and answer questions, and 20 years later, I've worked on many games, including Fortnite. How does it feel to be part of Fortnite? I love this game. We worked on that game for six years before it was launched. When it was released and it started becoming more popular, it was super exciting to tell people, hey, I worked on Fortnite. I really love it and I'm so happy that I've worked on a game that has had a great and positive impact on so many people. When you have a new game idea, what kind of research do you have to do to see if people will like it? User testing and play testing. We're sitting around coming up with cool ideas for what we think would make a good game and you give it to other people and see what they think about the game to get their reaction. The other way you can do it as well is, is the user experience team. That's the UX team. They bring people in to test your game while it's still in development so you can find out, is your game fun to play? One of the things you're trying to do to create a great UX experience is to make sure that the visual cues you give the player make sense to everybody. Do you have suggestions for me as a young girl trying to get into the gaming industry? You have to have usually a high school diploma and then you can go and apply to different game companies because they're always looking for testers. And the cool thing is, is that you test the game and you give your feedback directly to developers. Then the developers will take that feedback and figure out how to make the game better and play a lot of games. Because what you want to do is learn about how games are made and designed and what makes them exciting. And then eventually you're gonna put together some sort of portfolio and talk to game companies that are looking for people that can do these jobs. For people that have talents in writing and art, how do we get into STEM? I know that when I started my journey in the game industry, I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to make games because I didn't know how to program. But games are so much more than that because they need people to design the stories, to create concept art for the characters, to make character models. They need people to write music and to create sound effects. They need people who have all different types of skills and backgrounds, so there is a lot of opportunity for you to use those skills in the game industry. Where are the body positive girls in games, and why are girl characters always a certain type? Unfortunately, the game industry has had a long history of having girls of certain body types in games, but today, they are realizing that they need to change. That's why it's important for girls like you to come into the game industry and help us make these changes. Are all races of people represented when you and your teams develop characters? Game developers have understood that having racial diversity is as important as having diversity of male and female characters. We are getting a more diverse game development team, and so they are bringing these points of views into the games, and we are creating more rich and full games because of this. We all know that the tech field is mostly men. How does it feel to be a woman in a male-dominated industry? It certainly can be kind of scary to walk into a room and be the only female in the room. I would find people who would be my support and ally and mentors so that they could help me do my job. I've also worked on teams where they've been very enthusiastic about having a woman on the team because they've never had one. And in one particular team, they had gotten into the habit of using the men's and women's restroom. And when I came on board, the men said, okay, no more using the ladies' restroom, that's for Heather. And they had to use uh, just the men's for about 60 people in the studio. Be sure to visit GoldieBlocks.com to visit Basecamp and work on earning your other badges. Keep watching Goldie Blocks every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. Click here to check out my friend Beata for a molecular fashion show on cool tools. Stay curious, fellow campers, and a huge thank you to the Lida Hill Philanthropies for making this episode possible.